So this is the uh, first new robot project that I've done this year. It was printed on the new Persa MK3, printed in the uh, silver filament that comes with the machine. I based it off the robot from the movie Zothra, roughly. It's four pen light batteries, two in each foot. It's servos, it's under a Pololu controller. Um, as you can see, it walks with swinging arms, turning body, turning head, color changing eyes. And then it'll repeat that sequence. I'm going to uh, stop it here, I hope. So there it is stopped. I'll get it where we can look at it under the light better. You can see there's uh, quite a bit of detail. The prints uh, came out really nice. And um, let's get it on the stand here. Pardon the camera angle while I plop it down. The uh, arms are held on magnetically so they can be positioned with the servos and uh, printed a little stand to help hold the robot when it's not powered up because uh, servos don't hold the position when they don't have power at least not the inexpensive small RC servos I think that's about it there was uh, there was more than enough filament supplied with the machine to do it because here I am printing another robot project, a different one, and there's still some filament on there. Very surprised. I thought I was going to run out when I had a couple of uh, body failures, two body failures due to a slicing problem, and one body failure was due to a uh, missing um, X, let's see, was it? Yeah, it was the X axis, skipped a step, so that caused a layer shift, and so I didn't use that body. But uh, there's still some left on here because the end of the plastic's there and they only fill it to here. So I was really surprised. Quite a bit of filament.